yes hello students in the last video we have discussed about essentials of a valid contract where we have discussed five points that is under section 10 of indian contract act of 1872 has given 11 essentials of a valid contract to call particular agreement as a valid contract it must fulfill all 11 points in the last class or last video we have discussed about plurality of parties offer and acceptance intention to create legal oblig obligation uh, lawful consideration and capacity of the parties to enter into the contract now i'm going to discuss about the remaining points sixth one free consent as we know what is consent or consent? Consent of the parties means that the parties to the agreement agree upon the same thing in the same sense. When there is an, there is an uh, agreement between the parties, whatever the offer given by the party, if the other party accept in the same way, the way in which the offer is made, if offeree accept in the same way, then it is called as consent of the parties is obtained now it's not only obtaining the consent of the party but also it must be of free in the sense it, the consent said to be free when it is not caused by five points what are those coercion or undue influence misrepresentation fraud or mistake if the consent of the party is obtained because of any these five points or which is caused by these five points then it is not a valid contract maybe the force applied or maybe influence may be made misrepresentation may be made fraud or mistake if the consent is obtained by coercion undue influence misrepresentation or fraud then that contract is called as voidable in the sense it is voidable or avoidable at the option of the aggrieved party if the consent is obtained by mistake then it is void which is not enforceable by law next point lawful object for every contract there will be an object the object of the agreement must be lawful the object of the agreement must be lawful otherwise if it is influenced by these three or which uh, agreement object consists of these points then it is not considered as lawful object so it is lawful unless it is forbidden by law which is forbidden by law or of such nature that if permitted would defeat the provision of any law for example if there is a agreement between husband and wife where husband uh, promised to marry some other while the first wife is alive then if that is permitted then it will defeat the provisions of um, hindu law or fraudulent or causes injury to the person or property of another or immoral or opposed to public policy say agreement with the alien enemy for trade it is opposed to public policy so any agreement if it consists of these objects then it is considered as unlawful object which is not enforceable by law next essential is certainty in an agreement there must be certainty or at least capable of being made certain if certainty is not there then such agreement becomes void for example whenever particular person goes to provision store to purchase some item ration item so say he wants 10 liters of oil he is giving an offer to the shop owner to purchase 10 liters of oil it is uncertain because the provision store may uh, in the provision store they they are going to trade or they are going to sell variety of cooking oils there is no clarity or certainty in such offer that's why there must be a certain or at least capable of being made certain then only such agreements are valid and with which becomes a wide uh, valid contract next one possibility of performance 
whenever there is an agreement between the parties it must be capable of being performed so any such act if it is not possible to perform by the parties then it is not considered as valid contract such agreements are not considered as valid contract for example there is an agreement between the party where agreement made to or put life into dead body so it is not at all possible similarly there is an agreement between the party where one party promised to bring the stars into earth so as these act is impossible to perform that's why it is not possible to put into action because of that reason it is not a not considered as valid contract tenth essentials of valid contract is not expressly declared void so any such agreement which have not been expressly declared as void under indian contract act of 1872 or under any other act in force in the country if that aspects are there then it can be considered as valid contract for example a wagering agreement that is betting agreement or agreement in restraint of trade or marriage so if any agreement made between the party to prevent the marriage or prevent the trade activities that is expressed as void that's why any such agreement which consists of such act which is void if it is not there then it is enforceable by law last point legal formalities as to writing and registration in indian contract act or various acts which is prevailing in a country certain agreements must be in writing uh, and registration such legal formalities to be followed when there is an agreement between the party so in indian contract act of 1872 certain agreements to be in writing and registered similarly an agreement example is an agreement to pay the time bar debt must be in writing arbitration agreement must be in writing similarly an agreement to make a gift out of love and affection must be in writing and registered if all these 11 essentials or legal rules are fulfilled by an agreement then it is enforceable by law and it is called as a valid contract i hope you have understood all these 11 points which is relating to contract thank you for listening thank you